Sound check on Isle Bomberman. Sound check on Isle Bomberman. Woo! Okay, the microphone is on this time. Welcome everyone to part 22 of Let's Play Bomberman Hero. In this episode, we will solve the riddle of the Sphinx. What's red and white and bombs all over? Communist Bomberman! Bomber Revolution! Anyways, there we have the Sphinx and the Princess Million, who is ridiculously happy about lying prone on the floor. This cutscene is funny. What? Bomberman? Here? In plain eyesight? Right in front of me? I never would have guessed. Do you want to suffer that robot's fate? <laughs> that always makes me laugh. How do you say that, Bomberman? ANGRY! Notice how happy the princess looks when she's explaining that Piebot has been turned to stone. And now time for the ultra-ridiculous teleportation sequence after we walk in place. VOIP! Slow movement! Take your turn! More slow movement... And a tiny shadow for the gigantic sphinx. Cut to sad princess. And now we save. Cut save! Alright, phase one. Bomb the forehead. Don't run off the cliff. Um... First you bomb the forehead. Then you bomb the tail. When he stops... Being impossible to hit, okay. What? Well, you know, I wish I had health or something. That might have been good to go do, get. So, alright, after we hit the forehead a few times, then we die. Great job. Great job, me! Wow, I'm really excelling today. Once. Not twice. There we go. Two hits. And now he pops out the satellite television. I mean, satellite. With which he defends his front. So what do you do? Go attack the other obvious weak spot. He's behind us. Let's go. What? I totally hit you, jerk. This boss is really easy, so if you got stuck on it for a long time, you'd better be a kid. But, um... The hard part is, of course, hitting his really moving weak points. There we go. We did it! And now the Sphinx is ancient history. Ha <laughs> ha! Stun Piebot. Bomberman doesn't even give him a sad face. Beep beep! I'm a robot! Beep! Ya da do da do 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 Happy Bomberman! I bet he's faking it. Nitros took Princess Million to my zone star! Let's hurry! Do 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 angry. Do 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 do. Let's go for the bronze. I already know what score I got. Told you. Hey, one more point than last time when I previewed it. <laughs> Bonus stage. Oh, this is fun. This is the one where I sort of fell off the world when I previewed it. Because I'm a genius. Let's try to survive, shall we? BAM! As you can see, eh, this bonus stage is built entirely off of a concept which we haven't seen since the first level of the game. Ingenious, that. 
Save State Abuse is the name of the game in Bonus Bomberman Land. Do, 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 do. Oh! What? Woo! Alright, let's see where we stand. We stand over here, apparently. And this again. And leap! And shoot! And leap! And shoot! And leap! And shoot! It is not very... Not the same thing over and over. PERFECT! I still don't really know what bonus stages do for you. Must own the swamp planet, I guess. Area 1 introduces Hopperland! Which itself introduces a new gameplay mechanic. Let's watch! I, I didn't watch this cutscene before. I was too lazy. Hey, this looks a lot like Primus, except a little bit more blue, green, than just whatever Primus was. The Zone Star has many high places. Louie lives here. He's a lot of help. Hey, it's Luigi. I mean Louie. Apparently the Louie call is Pip Pip. This is Louie. Um, he's a rabbit kangaroo. It is a nice shade of green. He makes a noise. Bomberman loves adorable kangaroo things, apparently. So, Louie! Check out what the bomb button does. Nothing! You cannot bomb while Louie-ing. Louie, Louie. So, uh, anyway. Nice start of the time. Uh, um. Right, Louie. Louie, Louie, Louie. The whole point of Louie is jumping! He can jump high! He can also do a wall jump! Fork you, chameleon! I thought Kit killed you off. Anyway... Louie! Okay, we've already seen that text box message. Run quick! Whoa! As you can't bomb, you have to jump on things, Mario style. And as a coincidence, you're even jumping on turtles. Coincidence? Why, yes. I just said it was. Pay attention. So, Louie's jumping is a little bit loosely and badly controlled to the extent where that was difficult to get, apparently. He does get kind of neat music, but then they immediately use it in a stage without him. So, yeah. Yet, those things cannot be killed, as far as I know. And, Louie, your control is loose. You are just like Luigi, coincidentally. I guess you butter your feet like he butters his shoes. Let us jump into the heavens! Actually, that won't do us any good right there. I don't know why I'm avoiding the water. Ah, hello, floating... things. Nice of you to make no sense today. As we progress this way into that way. Do 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 do. Hello, Gold Jim. Anything up here? No. Wall jumping actually does get a use in a minute. Seriously, you guys. Whoa there! Friggin' chameleons. They're so annoying. Must kill all turtles. Oh look, they regenerate. Hmm. Or do they? No, that was the same. There were just two turtles over here. Alright. No points farming for me today, thanks. Oh, and can I do anything with this? Not quite. That turtle's a jerk, though. Whoa there! Trying to surprise me, are you? The tortoise in the hair? Trying to get revenge? Well, he's mostly a kangaroo, but whatever. There's not a whole lot to say about this kind of nonsense. You just kind of have to take it in stride. Accept it. You know, I don't know how many Louie levels there are. I'm guessing there's at least one more, but I could be wrong. Leap! Thanks much. And now, a heart. And now, over here, we, we fail at jumping. This is the part where the turtle becomes a jerk. Alright, 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 it's time to do this. Or not. 
This has been part 22.